Okay, there have been a few changes in version 6.9 on how to do a logbook of the world uploads that might be helpful to a lot of folks. So let's talk about it in tonight's Ham Radio Deluxe video newsletter. I'm Mike, Whiskey Alpha 9, Papa India Echo with Ham Radio Deluxe. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, in this particular video newsletter, I'm going to concentrate just on this section up here where the logbook is located. And we're going to look at just a few things, one of which is now you can set the upload sent values for logbook of the world to queued. First of all, let me show you how you add or remove columns that are in the display. If you hit layout, you can see on the right which columns are being shown, and then you can select from the columns that are on the left. And out of those columns, you can see that I've selected uh, Logbook of the World Sent and Received. So I, need to, I like to see those up there uh, so that I can tell that whether or not I've sent them or whether they've been confirmed in the download. As we do that, there's a new option in the Upload dialog where you can select It'll say so all selected QSO, so I've only got one selected right now. Or I can select all queued QSOs, and you can see that there have been 45 new ones since my last upload. And that's all these here, so let me cancel out of that. I'm going to come back. Earlier, I was working a lot of FT8 using WSJTX and a little bit of JTDX. And you can see all those QSOs there, if I selected them, there would be 31 and then there's also some that are probably further down in the log and that's how we ended up with a total of 40 I think what was it 45 if I looked at them I could see them here um, we can look at the list there's a number of them that are all the way down to down to here so oh there's some test ones there those aren't going to matter but I'll just leave them I'll just leave them alone if I click on upload, it's going to select automatically select those. So from time to time, we get questions about why don't you do automatic uploads to Logbook of the World? There's a number of reasons for that, but just being able to use the queued makes it simple. So I'm going to click on upload. And then you can see it completed. It uploaded all the QSOs and um, you, know, you can see, you know, that it uploaded all of them okay if you want to look through the notes some of them that are already uploaded they'll be suppressed that's just the way tqsl and lookbook of the world works it's nothing to be alarmed about but if i click close all these will be updated to yes and so we can see straight away that all the qso's that were set you know as queued automatically got uploaded i don't have to worry about um, doing anything with them here selecting them or finding them it automatically finds them for me so I pulled up my logbook of the world account and you know, I'm going to select awards DXCC and then I'm going to go to my QSOs and now that I have this selected I'm going to click on most recent and then it's going to show me the most recent one is this one here, K0UO. If I come back over here and look, there's K0UO. So I know that they've all been uploaded. So then, uh, so let's go back over into the Logbook of the World account here. And I'm going to look at, I'm going to now select most recent QSL. So the most recent confirmed. And uh, great, you can see um, a lot of them were confirmed. 603T was confirmed. And I think I already downloaded those, but um, anyway, all the ones that have been confirmed uh, will now be updated. If I click download, I haven't downloaded since the 2nd of November, so I'm going to click download. And you can see I downloaded 31 matches. There weren't any that didn't match, so I'm going to save it to the database and finish. And then over here, we see automatically that a whole bunch of them got 
updated, right? So they all went to received, um, verified. That's the way it works out. So I can go to my awards tracking. I can see that I ended up with um, a lot more uh, confirmed. So there's 14 here that have not been submitted. Another thing that's real helpful up here, I heard people say that, you know, they don't use the filter, you know, because I think sometimes it's a little, it can be, you know, overwhelming if all you really want to do is find something. So I hear people say that they sort by column uh, so they can find a call sign or something. But I'm going to click this new uh, enhancement here. I'm going to put in 603T and you can see straight away that it's going to filter them down to just those QSOs, which is pretty cool. Um, I can see that all of those have been matched in Logbook of the World. Let, you know, let's do a different one. I'm, do something really kind of common, W1AW. And I've selected, I didn't select the match case or exact match or whatever. So you can see that it's going to show that I worked all the different variants of that uh, call sign. So that's pretty cool. That's another thing you can do. There are selections here where you can you can create and manage these. If you want to see something like the most recent 100 QSOs or the most recent 250, or under layout, you can have different layouts that you want to use and you can manage those under logbook layouts manager. And here you can decide what columns you want to view under what circumstances. So I've got my default one setting there. And as I showed a while ago, you've got logbook of the world sent and receive. But this one uh, for awards tracking or for frequency, as they're listed here, are much simpler, right? So if I put in this awards tracking one, I don't have as many columns to look at or if I look at frequency. And the way you do that is just, you know, simply go into logbook here. You come down to layouts manager you can create a new one you can select you can call it whatever you want you can select whatever columns you want you can even take one and copy it and then you can modify it you know if, if you've got one that's kind of close to what you want so that's kind of cool and if you have multiple databases this is where you would see them if you've got this panel over here and you don't want it taking up space, you can just untick it and it'll put everything back over here. If you change the width of columns, for example, if I want to take this and move it over a little bit, for example, I can come up here to Tools, Layout, Save Layout B. So I've got Layout B saved. Um, nice thing about the layouts is, again, you can change things to suit your, your, your needs. If I click Layout A, it's going to go to the more default layout with the um, rotor over here, you know, more traditional kind of out of the box layout. I moved things around and got it to where I kind of like it, where you know I don't have to look at the rotor display all the time. And, and of course, I've got the lookup pane over here, which is really important. If you want to see your awards tracking, obviously you, cl you click there, you can close this out if you want. Um, I'll do something more in depth. I've got several videos on the YouTube channel about words tracking and although it's new and improved it hasn't changed that much. Wow here's somebody uh, Riddy in Svalbard. I actually need that. I should go work it. And there goes my deep 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 telling me that uh, I should go and work at this on my cell phone. Uh, let's see here. Backups. Yeah I mean backup periodically pretty important. Um, you can set this up under logbook backups options and you've got a number of different options for your backups i've got a, a video on youtube that goes into that it's it's a little dated but there's nothing that's really changed there so the, the one thing i guess i would say amongst all the items up here is that um, if you get a number of qsls in the mail paper qsls let's say that's where you really kind of it's helpful to use filter or you can use uh, you can use find. Let's say, for example, that in the mail I got the 603T uh, cards in the mail. Let's say I bring this up. I click the QSL button. I can highlight and select all those, and then um, you know I can say I receive them and apply that, and it updates those as well. So that's how that works. Uh, you can do the same thing for awards if you've you've received. 
credit for some awards based on paper um, applications. You can do it that way. And uh, the filter, I guess we've talked about this, but if I put in, uh, I'll just repeat one I put in a while ago. If it contains W1AW, here we go. We can also add something like, you know, let's say band. Um, I'm going to put in 20 meters. There we go. Um, if I put in, uh, I could add another one. I could put mode, let's say. And in mode, I'm going to say, you know, single sideband, let's say. Or I'm just going to put it in SB because that'll get me to the single sideband ones, whether it's upper sideband or lower sideband. So that's how that works. You can hit reset, apply to put it back to where it was. Click this off. A lot of the things are in the more selection. Some of this is a little bit redundant. You'll find it in a number of places. Uh, let's see if there's anything I missed. You can copy paste QSOs between logs. Like for example, I want to take this and I can copy it from one log to another. Uh, you can do that. I don't do it very often. Uh, the view button just simply opens the QSO. And um, so that's what that's all about. So that's this section in depth. I guess one other thing I should point out, this tells you what kinds of database you're using, how many QSOs are in that log, and how many you've got selected. So for example, if I selected eight of them, I would get eight and, um, and so on. So that's that section. And I think it's pretty helpful. So I thought I'd bring that to your attention, especially the, the uh, queued piece of Logbook of the World. So that's the update for tonight. 73 from Mike, WA9PIE.